Hello and welcome to this video of VMware Application Directory 6.0. This time we're going to create a custom application and deploy that application into a Linux virtual machine. My name is Matthias Eisner. I'm working in the Com Division Group as a Director for Cloud and Management. Creating an application is a pretty straightforward process. First of all, we need to open our browser, open a new tab and provide the URL for application director to log into our UI, accept the security certificate, provide username and password to log into application director. Right from the main page or the landing page, which is the applications page, we just start to create a new custom application by clicking new. Create a new application First of all, we need to provide a name. In our case, we create a custom web server with additional web min management for the Linux OS. Providing a description is optional and then just click save. Next step is we need to create a new application version because every single piece in application director needs a version. We start by creating version 1.0.0. Again, click save and the next step is creating an application blueprint. Just drag and drop all the pieces you need for your new application. We take a CentOS 6.332 bit, drag and drop the OS and then select the Apache web server and drag and drop Apache right onto that OS. In this example, we start by just deploying a and simple Apache web server on a Linux OS in the first step. The second step will be that we add the webmin service which we custom build afterwards into that specific virtual machine. So it's a two-step process. First of all, we start with the or with just the Apache web server and then we will at the webmin service afterwards. Great, now we save the new created application, our custom web server in the first version, and now we are starting to deploy that application by creating a new deployment profile, call it Apache deployment, and then we check the mapping details in the first step of our deployment profile. Just click map details and verify if the template mapping is correct. Again, we see our node name, the name of the logical template and the name of the cloud template where the logical template is mapped to. Click next and then we check or review the application properties. Again, we are going to change the amount of memory for the virtual machine to one gigabyte or 1024 megabytes because that is pretty enough for our example. Click next again a graphical review of the installation of the application and last but not least the review step just click deploy and application director starts deploying our newly created custom web server. We just click refresh in the just to refresh the page and if and to see if the deployment is already in progress and we open up the execution plan to actually take a closer look to the actual deployment and provisioning progress. In the meanwhile the deployment is running we're going to push that specific deployment into the background. Just You can do that by just navigating to anywhere else, for example, to the applications page. And if you go back to the deployments page, you can see that the deployment is still running in the background. Next step is that we need to create the custom service which we are planning to deploy with application director that for we navigate to our services page and click new. 
we provide a name for our new service. In our case, it's webmain. That's a an application or a management application for the Linux OS. Save that and first step again is create a new version. We start with 1.0.0. We provide a tag. In our case, I selected monitoring, but ideally it would be OS management, but that's not available just out of the box. After providing a tag, we select the supported OSs. In our case, it's a CentOS 32 bits version 6.3. And then we start creating our service. I prepared all the scripts we need for that service in text documents. The first we provide is the global configuration. That is a property which is made available right to the guest OS from application director. So we see the global conf is the URL to download the global configuration for each node. We create the property using the global underscore conf property name, provide a description and provide the value for that property and the type is content. After providing that global conf property, which is mandatory for every application, we need to provide the install script. So I've pre-written that in a text document as well. But the other thing we need to do is go to the install script, which is located underneath actions, click here to edit and just provide the script. This is just a simple bash script for Linux using yum to install webmin just right from the internet. On top of that, we provided a global conf for all the application director part and then just using yum to install webmin into our CentOS. We save the custom service and then we need to update our blueprint. Therefore, we navigate back to applications, to our custom web server. We are going to copy the existing 1.0.0 version and reversion it to 1.5.0. We save the new application version and then we are going to update the blueprint. Just click the blueprint and now underneath services we are going to search for webmin. Our newly created service is available. We see the tag monitoring and we just drag and drop the webmin service into the OS. We save the new application version and the next step is we need to deploy that new version of our custom application. Just click deploy, provide a name for the new deployment profile because we have a new application version. Therefore, we need a new deployment profile, which we call custom with webmin and we just click deploy. And then we go again through our deployment profile visit. First step, checking the mapping details. Again, logical template mapping, cloud template mapping. The next step is reviewing the application properties. Again, we're going to change the memory from two gigabytes to one gigabyte click Next, review the graphical execution plan from left to right. At the end, we see the webmin version 1.0 install. Click Next and on the review page, review all the properties and click Deploy, which schedules the deployment in Application Director. In the execution plan, we see the deployment of our new custom-built application. 
Apache installation and configuration startup. Right now, last step is that the webmin installation is going to start. So webmin is going to be installed on the machine, finished. And right now we need to verify if all the application installation were successful. Therefore, we have our two deployments, version 1.5. We just go back again to the deployment and check the IP address. It's point 58, the last octet. We just go to the browser, provide the IP address, point 58, with nothing else, which provides us the Apache test page, and port 10,000 is the web main access, which just provide the username and the password of the OS, and are able to log into webmin. We see the system host name, and we are now checked back with the vSphere web client, and yes, that is the machine we deployed just from application director. Uh, we proved that by comparing the host names. So we deployed a custom application from application director, and the last step we're going to do in this video is we need to make that custom application available in the VCAC portal. Therefore, we go to our application, we choose the version, in our case it's 1.5.0, click the title bar of that application version that directly brings us to the deployment profile. Uh, before we do that, we check the current group, it's the development unit. That is important because the application will be shown in VCAC underneath that group. Go Just go to Deployment Profile and click the Publish to Catalog link in the title bar of the Deployment Profile. And we have the name and click OK. That is the action to actually deploy that Deployment Profile to VCAC. After publishing, the deployment profile in the middle of the title bar or on the right hand side of the middle we see a new icon with a small red X on top of it that is the unpublished link. Next step is that we need to log into VCAC, open the browser, accept VCAC security certificate and SSO security certificate provide a username, provide the password, and log into vCloud Automation Center. The goal is to have our new custom application in the catalog available to our users that they can deploy an application with application director from our self-service portal. After logging into VCAC, we start by navigating to the Administration tab, Catalog Management, and then go to Services. So we are planning to create a new service, which is more or less a folder to group items in the catalog. We name our new service Applications. Uh, you could choose an icon and we set the status to active so we have a new like kind of a folder to add all applications from AppD into that. We see the custom with webmin service is already in the catalog because we published it and we see the source is application director. From the actions menu select the link configuration and select applications as a service for that custom application. Next, entitlements, we want that specific applications to be available for our development users. Therefore, go to Actions, select Edit and Navigate to the Items and Approvals tab. Click the plus next to Entitled Catalog Items. We see our custom with Webmin. Just select the checkbox and 
click OK to entitle that service into the catalog. We selected the service category before. Next step is click update and if you go back to your catalog and hit the application service you see that the custom application create an app D is available in the self-service portal and we created a custom application and published that to our self-service portal. Go and have fun with AppD.